Hello everyone, welcome in TechJavis. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can unlock bootloader of Poco F1 and how to install TWRP recovery in Poco F1. I am using Poco F1. As you can see, my device is Poco F1 and MIUI version is 11.0.6 which is running on Android 10. So first of all, you need to enable developer option. Press MIUI version 5 times to enable the developer option and go back and click on additional settings here developer option open this and enable OEM unlock and enable USB debugging mode now it's time to add MI account as you can see guys my account is already added if your account is not added then add here so go back again open developer option and here mi unlock status open this click on agree and add account now add it successfully my account is added guys as you can see this device is locked this means bootloader of this device is not unlocked yet so I'm gonna unlock the bootloader of this device guys to unlock the bootloader you must have an PC so let's move to the PC screen in PC you need to download all these files from the description box this file is me flash file by this file you can unlock the bootloader of your device and this device is the USB drivers of Poco F1 and this is the magic file and this is ADB fast boot all these files are important in the next app so first of all open me flash unlock tool and here open this run as administrator click on yes click on agree here login with the same same MI account as you are log, logged in earlier in your device so I'm gonna log in my account it's checking for uh, my account permissions so wait so guys it's time to connect the phone with a PC first of all switch off your phone power off and put your phone into the boat loader mode by pressing volume down and power button simultaneously now I'm gonna press power button and volume down button yes guys as you can see my device is boots into fast boot mode now connect the phone with the PC As you can see my phone is connected guys make keep in mind after unlock the bootloader all the user data will be raised so must take a backup before perform any action so click on unlock here it shows the warning unlock the bootloader will erase all the phone data whether to continue to unlock the phone unlock anyway an unlock device is an easy target for the malware which make damage your device or cause financial loss click on unlock anyway now let's wait so wait now my device is reboot automatically and it shows successfully so again let's move to the phone screen
सो गाइज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड आवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज इंस्टॉलिंग टीटल वार रिकवरी बिफोर गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप लेट चेक फोन बुट लोडर इज लॉक्ड और नॉट सो इनेबल डेवलपर ऑप्शन अगेन एडिशनल सेटिंग्स एंड डेवलपर ऑप्शन सो गाइज As you can see, uh, my unlock status unlocked. This device is unlocked. It means our bootloader is unlocked. Now, let's move to the next tab. So again, again enabled USB debugging mode. and let's move to the pc screen first of all connect your phone with the pc and click on file transfer to transfer the files close this and open this folder and copy this dfe file and this magix file copy this and paste this into the phone's internal memory paste now close this open this again now you can delete this and delete this and delete this now switch off your phone and put your phone into the downloading mode by pressing volume down and power key simultaneously phone is in downloading mode connect your phone with the pc and first of all open mi usb drivers connect your device again so i'm just connecting now mi drivers installed so close this it's time to extract the platform file so click on extract all click on extract now file is extracting so wait file is extracted so close this and copy this twrp file and paste this twrp in this platform tool guys twrp is already here so i'm not going to paste this again now press shift button and mouse right button simultaneously and open powershell window here now powershell window is opened here type fast boot devices press enter as you can see my device is added guys if you face any problem then comment in the comment section box now type fast boot flash recovery twrp.img and hit enter now type fast boot boot twrp.img and hit enter so guys as you can see phone is automatically boots and hopefully so yes it boots into twrp recovery so twrp recovery is successfully installed on my device but guys make sure this installation is temporary twrp recovery is not installed permanent now we have to install twrp recovery permanently so to install twrp recovery permanently click on install and flash this dfe disable for encryption travel file guys make sure you install this file if you install other file then phone may goes into boot loop so do not install other file except this one now it's flashing so wait now flashing is done 
do not click on reboot system click on reboot and click on recovery guys make sure you follow all these steps otherwise TWRP recovery is not installed on your device now wait so my phone is again boots up into TWRP recovery now close this and click on reboot click on reboot and click on system click on download install guys first reboot may take time so be patient I'm gonna fast forward the video to make the video short now my phone is properly boots up and everything is working good now guys let's check TWRP is permanently installed or not so I'm gonna again put my phone into the recovery mode first of all switch off your phone and put your phone into the recovery mode by pressing volume up power volume up and power key simultaneously now as you can see my phone is successfully boots into digital war recovery and TWRP recovery is permanently installed on my device so guys by this way you can install TWRP recovery on your device now I'm gonna again reboot my phone into the system guys if you like this video give a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching tech Jarvis